approach game day. The extreme heat continues to pose a threat, too. News 12's Garrett Stringfellow kicks off our team coverage with a look at preparations for athletes and fans. We've been very proactive uh, in making sure that we take care of not only our student athlete, but our community members as well. The high on game day is expected to reach 106 degrees. Without proper precautions, this extreme heat puts players, game day staff, and even spectators in danger. Sherman ISD Athletic Director Jeff Cordell makes sure accommodations have been made to keep everyone safe. We will also have uh, extra EMS on site uh, in case anything were to go down. We have cooling stations down on the field as well. Sweat is just going to be a part of the game, as you might be able to see. But Sherman ISD is focusing on proper hydration to help beat this heat. Myself and our other athletic trainer have been pushing to the kids that you have to hydrate. And if players are still cramping even though they're hydrated, head athletic trainer Katie Wade has an interesting solution. And we will also have mustard packets, which sounds weird. And for cheering fans, canopies will be set up to provide a place to escape the sun. But Cordell says the biggest decision made when considering how to battle the heat was to push back the start time to 8 o'clock. I drove by uh, Bearcat Stadium last night about 8.05, 8.07, about time where game time will start and the sun was pretty much down and away from the heat that we would normally experience at a 7, seven o'clock kickoff. As for who will win the Battle of the Axe, that will be left to the players. In Sherman, Garrett Stringfellow, News 12.